Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Oh, oh Trey, the meteor is already what what psychopath pathing is that from Meteor? He wants to make this play on the bottom side. Zora forced to flash with a handshake, gets it after the prediction. First blood for Meteor. Who needs camps when you can farm champions? Hold on, I was okay. I'm really in. They do find them. Oh, they do all find themselves in skirmish bot lane, but top. I think Birdall just runs out of this one, right? He is Udyr. Has flash available, not the ghost. Ooh. But doesn't even have to use it. Keeps himself safe up top. Yeah, and there was about to be a skirmish on bottom as well. Oh, there is. The hook is buffered on the handshake. Jin Zhao goes down. Zora is low though, and Meteor wants a bit of this action. Not level six on the graves. So no ultimate to Come to the table, all three go over, wants to get a little schnacky schnack for his jungle pet. We'll be able to get that bonus XP. As uh, Xiao Xu taking some heavy trades to the top side, but realistically, this is Udyr versus Cassante. We ain't seeing any solo kills. Oh no! Oh. He walks out. There's a gap between the minions for some reason. That's gonna be cleansed oh. from Xiao Ya, unfortunate. And uh, I take it back on the top lane violence because Meteor's hanging around. This easily could be a dive angle. Birdall can tank. Meteor's moved over. And Haichao's even going to use the wall to be a part of it. Does get himself that assist and Birdall grabs the kill. Just about. Now he's going to reply right here. Oh, he's building towards that Kraken Slayer. Uh, you see that the Udyr is not necessarily going to be too tanky uh, on the first item. It's most likely going to be a gauntlet. Uh, taking it by the sheen that we see in the inventory. And right here, RA are gonna choose again to trade. Oh, oh no. Zora goes wide on the hook. This is an angle for the Draven. Cash in here. Zora goes down. 700 bonus gold for Xiaoya. Viclo in a 1v1 with Xiaoya. He's got no mana, but he's got axes. And Assume could be in trouble. Flash available, Ooh. but not gonna be used as Assume finishes that kill off. Viclo under the tower. One spirit rush remaining to potentially get out of dodge. We'll just use it to get back under the tower again. But when it comes to somebody face shaking a team fight, being at the front of the team fight, you see him right now in the top lane taking the full tower. Uh, 14 minutes in, he's going to be the order. So as long as Birdle is not there, RA feels pretty safe walking into these fights. But now that Birdle is there, Birdle's literally just walked into Herald, essentially one v four, and is like, "What are you gonna do about it?" Xiaoya gets another cash in as Vikla has to just dash away to safety. Birdle's 2v1-ing the enemy top jungle and keeping them away. This is a huge fight. Charm lands from Vikla, but it doesn't really achieve anything. And LGD cleanly walk into the Herald pit after taking Drake as well. Draven and then Xiaoya gets to walk up for free right here. RA caught sleeping. No one on the mid lane rotation. Asum, of course, cannot walk up on the Jinx. They're going to lose one tower. LGD are going to choose to take another headbutt onto another tower. Birdle, of course, doesn't care uh, if he gets caught midway. Vikla is in the flank from the right. Zora flashes to get that knock up. Here's Charm from Vickler as well. Gets a bit of damage down, but Jin Zhao survives. And now Vickler could be the one in trouble. Uh -oh. Instead, Meteor's trying to chase it. This may be an overchase from LGD, but no. Turns out Birdle can literally just walk at them. And it's going to work out. LGD, they take one for free. I think there's much of a way for RA to fight for this. I'm surprised that they're fostering like they want to. I feel like this is a take the tier one top angle as opposed to fight for Drake. Hmm. This is becoming a little bit difficult now because you've got a mega tank in the likes of Udyr and you only have an AD carry with consistent damage. Vikla! Jin Chao's found here. Bailout available for him but he walks away without needing it. Xiaoya uses that ultimate just to try and deter the fight. RA doing a good job actually in this scrap and a hook onto Meteor as well, but the damage is plenty. Hai Chao with the first one as Xiaoya charges forward on his own. Maybe went a little too far forward there, just takes a chunk. Vickler gets a charm in the mid lane, but the, this barrier, or the, I can't remember what it's called, Archangels onto Hai Chao, the Seraphs of Praise, that's the name. Just not the Baron of course right now, but Zinzo hasn't necessarily had too much impact in the early game to make up the level disparity right here. And honestly, RA caught asleep yet again. They are the neutral objectives team and they've lost yeah. pretty much every single one of them but two. I feel like partly it's RA just conceding anymore. Xiaoshu can try and be tanky, but 
Tier 2 gone in the mid lane as LGD try and force something. It's another good charm from Vinkler here. Meteor force away, but the Whirling Death does so much. Zora flashes, but he's stunned up. He's CC'd up, and Xiaoya is cleaning up. Double kill on the Draven, and LGD will break the base. Well, we're talking about only the Tier 2s going down with LGD having the Baron, but this is going to be a fight that RA tried to take, and unfortunately, their timers in terms of taking these fights, try to make picks, have not been it. They did end up losing another tower, and this time it's going to be a tier. Like, RA have lost their timer right here. The second yeah. you see Udyr on a side lane, just walk up, try to get a pick. Uh-oh, now Bertle is looking for a pick. That's Crescent Guard used very early once again, not even in a fight. That all will be fine. He'll walk He's away from tickled. this one. And again, we're going to see the exact same situation that we saw last time down with the bottom in here. This time a Baron, where Nio has to use the Crescent Guard so early, he cannot be a frontline. Zora is going to go down as well. Bird all happy to tank. Xiaoxu moves forward, but what can Xiaoxu do on his own here? He can get a Q3 back. Jin Zhao will be picked oh. up. That's what Xiaoxu can do. Bird all next chopping block, but no, Assume goes down. It's a disaster. It looked so good, but they're so far behind. It's just not enough. We were winning until we ended our game. They look pretty clean from shielding the Draven early on to cashing out the stacks to using that Udyr, this monster later on in these fights. LGD are going to be closing out this game pretty cleanly. Potentially looking towards five wins if they can repeat this performance. LGD, great little showing here against oh RA in game number one to show you. It's just styling at this point. A double kill to finish things out. 14 to four and nine kills for Xiaoya on his from the set of LGD, all the protection with the Cassante and the Alistair. You've got so much space in again with the Varus and the Graves plus Karma to play those team fights. However, on the set of our aid, this time around, you've got a way. You've got Graves is going to be decent out a lot of AD burst damage. So I don't mind the only hit Varus right here, especially since Zinza is going to get tanky. The Aether is going to get tanky with a lot of healing as well. Now you are sneak himself up towards that bot side. Oh, LGD are pushing forward. <laughs> Zora punted into the enemy lineup. And it's Hold a up. great start from LGD. They've answered beautifully. Assume getting chunked out as well as Meteor jumping forwards for the double kill. And Nayu sent packing underneath his tower. LGD once again answer RA's early game. Nayu did manage to get one, so he will at least get an XP. Uh, Xiaoya is real lonely underneath this tower. Heal available, but no flash here. Zora going to be tanking as soon gets underneath the tower, but the TP is enough to dissuade this one, and the WQ does massive damage. Hai Chao in to finish the job, and Xiaoya once again protected. This is a tailored strategy for what RA are bringing in the early game. Meteor just dives into the back of the pit. He's like, oh, you guys want to do Drake? That's cute. I'm Graves, and I've got a serrated Dirk. Zora pinned oh, against Zora. the wall. No summoners. He's down. And honestly, this was a little overzealous to try and go for Drake for RA. Okay, let's play a game. What are we Zora playing? Zora had seven deaths by the end of last game. Do you go... Over hmm, under? I think he's going to get more over or under, yeah. Uh, pretty much the only significant engage on this team. He's gonna have to go in, and RA don't exactly have a scaling composition. And I don't think these engages are gonna go too well. Here we go, Fate's Call. Nice step forwards there from Chin Chao to block it. And Zora steps on forwards. Headbutt comes through onto Assume, but he's just stacking up. Jin Chao's gonna die here, but Zora's down. That's number four. Xiaoya getting the Ren stacks. Can he finish him? Yes, just! Assume gets the double before going down. Asum got so angry there. He's like, freaking, I'll do it myself. Going for an invade here onto the Gromp. Meteor has that smite available and will be able to find it. Nice little shot there from Meteor. He's 4 0 oh, 1. He's already got his Coast Blade. And now we're going to dive in the bottom side onto Asum. WQ just does so much damage. And uh, Jin Chao tank it as well. He's going to be fine. Fantastic bot lane here from LGD. Graves around, so you definitely don't want to be taking these fights. The TP has to come in from Vikla yeah. all the way from Botland after he pressures out 
that wave and right here LTD are displaying in their face. Nine has just lost half his HP trying to get honey fruit. Kind of ironic, honestly. As Jin Zhao flashes for a double pull as well. Spiraling despair to try and zone away, but the arrow is true from Xiaoya. William Tell knocking apples off of heads right here. That's gonna be a triple kill come through. No, Meteor steals it away with his own shotgun, but Herald claimed now by LGD. Yeah, LGD clinic right here. Vikla is looking, but he doesn't quite have the damage. The ultimate was also used in the previous skirmish. Probably as Chain of Corruption misses right here. Probably your only saving grace is Vikla onto this way. Sort of scaling into that late game. There is a flank right here from Zaju. Maybe he finds the angle. Going to try for something. Shall you? Oh. Sidesteps. Jin Chow double pulverize. It is so hard to kill. And Bird also now behind enemy lines as well. Assume dives forward to try and finish off this Alistair. But he's still going. And there's an all out. Bringing Nayo over on a silver platter. Now that is room service. And the RA thought they had the right to pull a fight right there. Pick that doesn't do well later on into the game. It's not a good sign. LGD. Need to be cautious. High Chow could be caught here. Vickler and Dio committing so hard for this play, but Zora's moving in as well. Death Charge should be able to land. Doesn't even need it, in fact. Just the root will do. There we go. A pick coming through for RA. A little bit of damage comes down. Crescent Guard used by Nayo just to deny the damage out from Xiaoya. At Valley, you can get into this way. Inventory is going to be hugely oh. impactful for next fight. Uh-oh. Bertles chasing Xiao Xu here, looking for an all-out angle. Q3 available to him, and that will pull him back underneath the tower. Xiao Xu doesn't actually tank any tower shots, but I don't think it matters. Sante. Bertles just solo kills Xiao Xu. We saw early games, we saw fights from them that looked convincing, like high Chow. So many games would find an advantage and sometimes throw it away oh. a little bit as uh, Xiao Xu is just gonna be one shot unfortunate um but yeah they had these like early games that high chow would maybe go then you take the neutral objective they yeah. have used every single opportunity on the map to take something for themselves that's meaningful on the rift whether it's a tower or whether it's an objective but all just face checks into four and he is not afraid to do so nio forced to flash that's crescent guard as well as jin Zhao gets a bit of a cc chain nio walks away with his life no he doesn't arrow in from xiaoya jin Zhao flashes back into the play for more lgd doing everything all right desperately trying to fight for control but it's just not happening yeah and this is going to be so for the side of LGD, we said you're playing on a timer. If you're RA, you're behind in gold. Unfortunately, Yohei is not going to have death cap for this particular team fight because you did not contest. This, uh, them having this lead with the scaling version of Paris. This isn't even lead valley. It's not even like the one that's meant to be super good early. Baron taken for free as Bird uh, literally Birdle? 1v3 zones everybody. Then goes for an all out onto Assume and High Chow flashes to finish the job. LGD are straight up styling on RA at this point. Q3 doesn't quite land onto Nayo, but Bird doesn't care. He's just going to walk underneath the tower. Nayo on about 1 HP. Luckily for him, Graves can't shoot past towers. Because Zazu is sort of balancing between having to potentially defend his top side of the map if they get dived into a hey do i want to engage into a fight with this okay. Sandra, you probably don't <laughs> they made a 2v1 awesome. play there onto a birdle a birdle's like i like those odds take some down with ease another all out over the wall and another kill take 17 to 4 as lgd just laying down the law today over RA. Game one was a bit oh, closer. God. Game number two has been an absolute schlacking. That'll be two in hips now. I think LGD can just end the game. Absolutely, you have two huge waves coming in, both barrowed up, only three members of RA to defend. They're gonna try and get on Shao Shu Zora, tries to protect his top laner. No can do, I'm afraid. G flashes onto the fountain as Vickler flashes forward, gets a bit of a combo. It doesn't really do anything, but hey, the, the combo looks cool. Xiao Xu goes in and gets shut down by the shotgun. Xiao Yu diving the fountain at this point. As assumed, desperately tries for anything. Meteor flashing in for a bonus. And unfortunately, I was wrong. Zora, only six deaths. So <laughs> under the eight. 
These were some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.